What's going on guys, I'm back to another video, and I'm going to show you make Panda Express. There will be an interior on this in probably two days time. Um, also, I forgot to mention that on the grid, I don't know why I record this after I put the grid in, but uh, for the grid, the lime terracotta is black glass. I just changed it because uh, I didn't like it being the red for whatever reason. But um, yeah, that being said, enjoy the door and I will catch you on the flip side. Alright, so the space meter for this is a 25 by 25. I love when it's a perfect square. And the materials you're going to need to start off are stone bricks, black stained glass blocks, acacia doors, light gray concrete. It feels like a weird order for some reason. I mean, I don't know why. Stone brick slabs, polished deep slate slabs. I believe what it was. It indeed is. Uh, black stained glass panes, gray concrete, and dark oak wood planks. You also need. Let me see if I can get all these stone brick stairs, smooth quartz blocks. Smooth court stairs, red concrete, black concrete, and white concrete. If you're ever like, if there's ever one of these builds where you need a number of materials or anything like that, please feel free to ask me. Um, obviously, numbers I understand. Like, if you want to build this in survival and you like don't have a good estimate of how many it is, I will feel free. I will be pleased to, to be helping and give you that number. Of block of a certain block. If it's one block, if it's all the blocks, it doesn't matter. I just don't want to do it. Like, I know it's lazy, but I don't want to have to do it. Like, every single time. Maybe at some point I will. Survival houses, obviously, I should. But for things like this that are more creative based, I don't really feel the need to. But again, if anyone ever needs it, I will gladly give it to you. But starting from the front left hand corner of your 25 by 25 grid cough cough if you made it. And from this right, front right hand corner you want to count backward diagonally to the right by one and going back you want to place two stone bricks. Then go right with a black stained glass block. Right with an acacia door. Right with a black glass. Forward diagonally to the right with a stone brick. And we're actually going to stop there for a minute. Because basically, this specific section is different. Actually, wait a second here. Okay, I thought I pushed it forward, but I didn't. It's level. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to basically bring the stone bricks up by three with stone brick. Bring your black glass up with three with black glass and your door up with two black glass. Now, over the top of this, you want to place a row of upstone stone brick slabs in front of that top row of glass. That just makes a little bit more of a, like a depth. This is what I think black stained glass blocks were useful for in this build, because you can do a lot more things like this. The black glass blocks look so much better than the panes would in this situation, if you have them pushed back, which I do. Because pushing them back, especially for this, just adds, like, it adds more depth, and you can do more with that. Obviously, it adds more restrictions for certain things, like... You would have to, I don't know what exactly a good example of, but like, over here I'll actually show you. I had to make these deep state blocks instead of dark oak planks because it just doesn't look right with the block, with the black glass blocks. However, the panes, I don't know if it'd look too bad. But yeah, then what you want to do is uh, from the, f I guess the far right hand bottom block of this section, you want to go back diagonally to the right by one with the black glass. Bring it right three. Four diagonally to the right with a stone brick. Right by one. Back diagonally to the right with the black glass. Right three. Four diagonally to the right with the stone brick. Right one. Back diagonally to the right with the black stained glass block. Right three. Four diagonally to the right with the stone brick and then right by one. Now what you want to do is you want to bring your black glass up with three rows of black glass. And you want to bring your stone bricks, at least these three, up with three light gray concrete each. 
I'm gonna talk about uh, something really quick. Uh, basically, this this build I had a lot of I had more troubles with than you thought. No, I guess I feel like you'd assume because the window not the not the windows but the logo was very hard to get right and I had to like redesign the build at a certain point for that. I had the bottom the same. I didn't change the bottom. I didn't end up adding an addition. I believe I had an additional window. I believe there were only two originally, and I added that whole right gray concrete section because originally that dark oak section was gonna go to the far right. Which would have been like here, and then this window wouldn't have existed. So, I, or maybe it would have been here, and I was gonna originally add a window, but I took it away. I don't remember what I did exactly, but yeah, I did change it a lot. So, if it still looks a little bit weird, that's kind of I was trying to figure out a way around the uh, <laughs> issue of that. So, yeah, what you want to do is you want to bring this stone brick here at the bottom, the uh, far right. You want to bring it back by twenty-two. That's the wrong way. Then what you want to do is going front to back, you want to place... I actually forget the number. Uh, it's like... Wait. 16 light gray concrete. Or, wait, hang on. Yeah, it is 16. Black stained glass pane. One block gap. Black stained glass pane, three light gray concrete. Copy that row one more time. So, alternatively, going uh, back to front, it'd be three light gray concrete, black stained glass pane, one block gap, black stained glass pane, rest of the row wants to be light gray concrete. And then you want to place a row of light gray concrete on top of that. Now, why is it not open to the correct note sheet? Alright, what you want to do now is you want to, from this back right-hand corner, you want to bring that bottom stone brick left by 22. Sounds familiar. And then what you want to do is going right to left now from the front of the build. So from my perspective... You want to place two light gray concrete, black stained glass pane, one block gap, black stained glass pane, and then rest rest of the row wants to be light gray concrete, aka 17. Just like that. So the two drive through windows should be on the same side, or the same corner. Yeah, I want to copy that row one more time. And you want to place the row of light gray concrete on top of that. Just like that. Now for the left wall, which we're going to go back to front since we're just going against a full, uh, like, snake type pattern we're just going in a line i guess or line with corners that makes perfect sense aka a square what you want to do is run this stone brick this uh back left hand stone brick you want to bring it forward by one forward diagonally to the right with the black stained glass block forward three forward diagonally to the left with the stone brick forward one forward diagonally to the right with the black stained glass block Forward three. Forward diagonally to the left of the stone brick. Forward one. Forward diagonally to the right with the black stained glass block. And then forward three. That will not connect to your wall. And I did that on purpose. These three rows are going to be different. So what you want to do now is. You want to bring again the black glass up with three rows of black glass. And your stone bricks up with three light gray concrete. This build is very gray. Come to think of it. Windows are kind of a weird shade of gray aka black um walls are completely gray uh top section does both sections are actually gray and then really it's just the dark oak and the door and that's the most like non-colorless blocks okay so then what you want to do is you want to do from this bottom front hand corner this black glass block you can see where i'm highlighting it is the front window that we just placed you want to go forward diagonally to the left of the stone brick and then forward too 
And you want to bring that little row of stone brick up with three rows of stone brick. That just makes instructing a little bit easier. It adds that little extra complexion because in case you, like if you thought that that should have touched the wall, uh, it, it shouldn't. Uh, it just makes it easier because it's less steps to explain. <laughs> and that's basically, basically how I'm going to roll with that. So, what you want to do is, I'm, I'd say, give me a moment actually, I'm not sure on the placement here. Okay, I do know the placement, I think. Yeah. So what you want to do is on the front and the left side, you want to place a row of polished deep slate slabs directly on the wall. Which means, not over the windows, just directly up against the wall. So over the stone bricks, just straight, ahead, just straight across until the light gray concrete and everything. Just like that. Now you want to overhang that by one on every single side of the build. So basically extend over the front by one, extend it over the left by one. Then once you go over this left wall, you just want to go straight across the back and then overhang the right by one and go directly down the right side. This is because nothing beyond those two, the two layers here and there, the walls have blocks on them. So I'm not going to go through the effort to place those blocks just to have them, you know, destroyed again, but... Yeah, so then what you want to do is, okay, you want to come to the front right-hand corner of your polished deep slate slab section. So this is the build so far. It actually looks, I actually really like it like this. It just looks very, like, fancy. I don't know. I just enjoy that. So in the front right-hand corner of polished deep slate slabs, you want to count back by two and left by one. And going left, you want to place eight gray concrete. I'd go back to that first block that you placed and bring it back by five. And then from this back right hand corner, go left seven. Just like that. Now the reason we did it that way is because that side isn't going to be seen. The dark oak slash, um, I guess dark oak slash gray concrete section will just go straight into that. So you don't have to worry about that side. But what you do want to do is you want to bring that entire little um, staple or U shape, sideways U. Up with nine additional rows of gray concrete. Just like that. I want to actually make sure it's correct. It is cool. I'm going to just eyeball it. Because, uh, yeah. I don't want to. I want to make sure it's correct, obviously. Just so you know, I'm not doing that oopsie. But also, I don't really feel like going all the way over there. <laughs> so, yeah. And then, uh, we're actually almost done. This isn't really that long of a tutorial. It took me a good 40 minutes to figure this out, though. Like, that's, that's what's interesting, though, about tutorials. Because, especially for something like this, it takes a lot longer to design the thing than to actually show people how to make it. Obviously, because usually when you're showing someone how to make it, it goes smoothly. Or... As long as you don't have to multi record it multiple times, it'll, you know, it'll be fine, and then that's basically all. But when you originally are designing it, you have more, like, things you have to, like, be looking at and stuff. Okay, you actually do have to connect some of the rows together at the top. I don't remember exactly what they are. Uh... Okay, so it should be, like, the top three rows or something like that. I'm not gonna worry about that right now, though, because it doesn't really matter, but... What you do want to do is you want to come to the second window. So the middle window on the front, the middle of the 4x4s. Four hey, just ignore the door. What you want to do is the two polished deep slate slabs on the right half of this. You want to bring up with an additional slab so you should have a full block. Just like that. You then want to bring that up with... Both those up with... Uh, what is the number? Six dark oak planks. And then the top two rows want to go left by 13. And then back by 22.
just like this. Is that actually is correct? I got that correct. I had the... I did this really weird. I had the gray concrete below it down, so I knew the dimensions for that. But I didn't get the dimensions of the dark oak for some reason. But I figured it out because it's just really, like, overhanging. I know the overhangs. You then want to bring the b back two rows of dark oak planks all the way down. And you will have to destroy some uh, polished deep slate slabs for this. Two of them, to be specific. But yeah, just like that. Then, uh... What you actually want to do is... Okay, we're going to start with this one. I was trying to figure out which step I want to do first. But you want to fill in this entire little, like, section. A block back in with gray concrete. So basically just... You can follow the polished deep slate slabs. You can just place a row of gray concrete directly behind that bottom row of slabs. Just like that. And then you can just bring it straight up. By, I think, four rows. Worst case. Actually, I want to make sure. I'm pretty... I'm almost positive that's correct. Yeah, it is. Because I wasn't sure if I took into account the half block, but I did. I mean, that, like, that full block probably wouldn't make too much of a difference. But... Still. I'm actually almost done, yeah. But yeah, that's basically what the front of your build will look like when it's done, other than a few little nooks and crannies and stuff but what you want to do is um come to the back and you want to bring this dark oak this road this back row of dark oak planks right by 14 and then you can just basically bring it forward until you are touching diagonally to this gray concrete section here and then you want to bring this entire little section up to the same height as the uh, other do rows of dark oak I guess columns would be those. I guess that top row, technically. Or rows, I don't know. It is two rows, I suppose. But yeah, I don't actually know how tall it is. I should have gotten that down. I think it's like... Seven rows of dark oak or something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. And this is nice about a build like this, because if you have one dimension down, you pretty much have most of them. If you can, like... If they're wrapping around each other like this. But yeah, just like that. And then I would also connect the... At this... The top row. At this right side here. Just across. Just like that. And then... What you want to do next is... I'm, we might as well just finish off this section. You want to place an additional row of dark oak planks going around the top of this. Going around the inside of the roof. And then from here, there are two things you can do. I didn't actually think about the other one until now, but... Hey. You can either turn this into a skylight... Or just fill it in with grey concrete. I personally think skylight would be better. So just basically... For skylight, just take it and just a block down just fill it in with black glass. At that level. I think that would be good. Because... But then you also... Because I just think that natural light is good for... Especially a build like this where it's more modern-like. But also, you have to take into consideration that then your ceiling level has to be that high, and it's going to create other ceilings to be different heights. Now, you can cut off the walls, like, where they are, per se, like, go down, like, this area, and that could, say, be, like, bathrooms and kitchen or something like that. Yeah, you could probably, like, figure it out, like, bath bathroom, bathroom, kitchen, and then that would be very small, but you could, over I guess you could, like, figure it out however you need. But just, if you're going to make it a skylight, just take into consideration how the inside will look for that. And then you can do the same on the top section, however I will add the, you should add the stone brick, which I will show you how to add. Or if you've built, uh, really any of my recent tutorials that are like buildings, not houses, you should know what to do. I pretty I use this a lot. I either use like a slanted roof or this roof, or both, because uh, bank exists. I was gonna say Dennis too, but no, Dennis had only the one, which is the uh, roof that I will, that I, which is the roof that's on this build basically. I can just block myself in because I see there's a hole over here. All right, just like that. And again, if you want it to be black glass, you can make it black glass. Now, what you want to do is you want to connect the top three rows of gray concrete together at the left side of the top section here, just like that. And then I would place a row of stone bricks on top. Just on top of this top row of gray concrete. And 
And then again, you can either fill this in with black glass, which I would do a block down, or stone bricks. I'm gonna do stone bricks again. Actually, I will show you black glass though. Because why not? Just like that. That's black glass. You can't really see it very well. Because uh, there's a lot of gray down there. But I do, I do just prefer the stone bricks. Especially for this, because of the ceiling heights would then be really weird. And if you want hanging lights and stuff, it also just add another layer of complexion. Yeah, it looks a little weird though, doesn't it? Because it's A, one giant flat gray concrete surface. And B, the top just looks like it has a, like headband or something but what you want to do first is you want to come to the back here and you have this big section you just you just want to fill it in with polished deep slate slabs at the same level as that little back row uh the ceiling is very low i will figure this out i do think i know what i'm gonna do for this part uh but this will just be for the most part the kitchen so it shouldn't be that bad it's still four blocks or you can get four blocks out of it a lot of people would probably make that three or three and a half, but I think I'll keep it at four when I do the inside. But yeah, just like that. And then what you want to do now is you want to clear inventory and get out. Stone brick stairs. Smooth quartz blocks. Smooth quartz stairs. Red concrete, white concrete, black concrete. What you can do to start is you do want to take this top section of stone bricks, so this little like roof, and you want to just place a row of upside down stone brick stairs going around it. Every single corner is going to do that, isn't it? Yep. Except for this last one. Just like that. That already looks ten times better. <laughs> That's another thing with that, because this build, I think, took it interestingly. Because you should always say, if you have two different blocks, try and not make them directly up against each other. But you can see the little deep slate with the dark oak, and then the light gray concrete with the stone bricks. But those work well, because the deep slate, the polished deep slate is just, like, not enough to be significant. And the light gray concrete and the stone bricks are so similar, it doesn't really matter. That's another thing, though, I guess. If you have a base layer of a block, it doesn't matter. Like, you can see the cottage over there has that, like, that one layer of stone bricks. I don't know, but what you want to do is you want to come to the bottom center of this and you want to count to the third gray concrete up and find the center two blocks and you want to place the smooth quartz blocks sticking out of either of them. You then want to bring it left and right with a smooth quartz, upside down, with an upside down smooth quartz stair. Up with a smooth quartz block. Outward with an upside down smooth quartz stair. Up with two smooth quartz blocks. Up with a smooth quartz stair. These should all be facing towards the outside, by the way. None of them face in. Inward with a smooth quartz block. Up with a smooth quartz stair. Inward with a smooth quartz block. Just like that. Kind of looks like a hospital logo for some reason. I don't know why I see that. If you just fill it flat with the red concrete, it would be. But you want to place... Okay, so you have like a 4x4 four four with the corners missing. In the little, like, almost areas where there is no corner, or where the corners are taken away, or like right here... You just want to place red concrete, leaving a 2x2 two two square in the middle. Bottom row of this, you want to place black concrete. Top row, white concrete. And it's supposed to be a little panda. Uh, is that... Yeah, I did line that up. Cool. It does look weird, because it's a little bit lower than it is higher. Because that's two blocks, that's one and a half. I know, what a, what a big difference. It does look like it's, like, more up, though, or more down, though. But yeah, once you've done that, ladies and gentlemen, that is your Panda Express exterior complete. Thing that's all, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you have any suggestions for any other tutorials or anything at all, really, feel free to leave in the comments. And um, yeah, have a fantastic dinner, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.